I'm happy to talk about integrated crop livestock systems that um, have multiple arrangements in space and time. So here we are seeing some beef, dairy, sheep, and rice, soybeans. You can even see in this photo soybeans with rye grass in the middle. So there is multiple arrangements for integrated crop livestock systems. But in this research, we did focus in three regions in the world. Southern Brazil, where I'm from, uh, Southern France, uh, and uh, North Dakota, the, I mean, the Northern Grand Plains. So we basically interview producers that are using integration crop livestock systems and asking how, how did, do they manage this, how it's their trajectories. So first of all, we identified uh, some big points into their farm trajectories. We will call these turning points. It's uh, moments that made them change into more and looking for more sustainable production systems. Mainly, this comes from three, uh, uh, we identified three main uh, turning points. One is programs and initiatives, like for example, a mentorship program here in America where some, a producer was learning about cover crops and trying cover crops. And even that program was ending, he was still willing to pursuing with cover crop using in his farm and grazing these cover crops. Also, we didn't find some system disturbance like economic problems. Oh, my, my operation was not uh, being enough profitable to me, me keeping my family. So that was a turning point, an important turning point. Or even people's influence, meaning peers. Like another producer showed me, in, uh, when I was visiting another producer showed me this way of producing. But here in people, some producers mention researchers and advisors as a big turning point in their systems. Well, but what they talked about is benefits, what we identified with them into crop livestock system. First is, of course, a diversification of incoming, but this diversification bringing resilience to the system. Also, because we have two systems, livestock and crops interacting, we have a sharing in equipment, nutrients, human resource, much more uh, in, in the integrated system than just crops or livestock. And of course, it's an opportunity for partnerships. So meaning um, livestock and cropping farmers making arrangements at farm level or even at landscape level. But not, it's not just benefits. There is some challenge, of course. And first, I'll talk about inside the gate because there is also outside the gate um, challenge. Inside the gate, of course, there is this operational, and this depends on the departing point. If some producer just have crops and he wants to add livestock, this will be more workload, but if a livestock farmer wants to add cropping too, uh, same is true, but if they have both, so all the part depends on the departing point, but but of course, learning proper pasture management is a big challenge, can be a big challenge. And infrastructure, of course, fencing, water, all this is it's really crucial in integration. And we identified some human capital challenge like communication, employees trained to be working in this and conflict of interest, meaning partners that are sometimes just looking for one side or one operation, and then there is some can be some conflicts and also short-term contracts. So for illustrate this, I have here, for example, producer saying, stating that it's integrated crop livestock people system, because if you don't have people concerned, uh, it becomes a really exhausting mission. And another producer also mentioned that, yes, soil health needs livestock. So he was claiming that uh, long term, he would need 10 or 20 year contracts to be able to put water, to justify water and fencing. In the, his case, he was someone that had lots of livestock. 
And for him being the partner with a crop farmer, he needs these long-term contracts. And this is quite interesting because this contract means an opportunity for a landscape integration here in America. It just have this screenshot of a grazing exchange <laughs> platform where a crop farmer doesn't need to have the livestock, buy cows and everything. They can just match with someone that has and needs food. So uh, there is this, of course, the needs contracts, liability, fence, water market, all this needs to be figured out, but this is also an opportunity. So farmers and ranchers uh, agreements, it's a key for integration. So you see here, I put a key in the side. Uh, I will show today six keys uh, for integration that we identified. The first one, so it's agreements. Second one, it's related to livestock. What livestock, and I use it here, the expression singularities means if we have a um, crop rotation, and other crops can bring a lot of things to our rotation, like diversity, breaking disease cycles, everything. But there's things that just livestock can bring, like the use of non-agricultural areas, nutrient cycling. Because if we don't have dungs, we don't have dung beetles. And if we don't have dung beetles, we don't have this dung and organic matter coming into the profile in deep partners and having more <laughs> soil health. So enhancing soil health, it's the second key we identify. And when Brazil said, yeah, grazing cover crops, if I can get all my soil health to me and my cows pay for it. So he was like, uh, we're highlighting how good it's both having the soil health and having this soil health paid. But of course, livestock, uh, it's always a debate about how good or bad for the system, because what it's a worldwide problem, I would call in this, it's the overgrazing, meaning all these issues that comes when the system is not, the pasture is not proper managed. We have all these uh, side effects. So yes, livestock can be really beneficial to the system. In the left side, we have uh, more uh, cover, covering into, this is soybean planted and the right side was overgrazed, left side, it's, it's a good management. So pasture management, it's the third key I'm talking. Uh, we identify it. A fourth key, it's knowledge source. So meaning attending all these field days, events, advising, re interaction with research, all this knowledge in integration, not just knowledge in crop, not just knowledge in livestock, but integrate crop livestock system knowledge is a huge point. Some producers also highlight that believing in science, believing in research, and it's fundamental, they think it's fundamental, and also it's with knowledge that they could progress. But of, but, but of course, this uh, knowledge needs, may, may, needs to be correlated with a mindset and attitude changing. So open mindset, uh, trying new things, focusing profitability, not just product, not just uh, maximizing production, but thinking in how, which cost of this and all that. And coping with specialized way of production, meaning specialized way means everything it's in different uh, compartments in this photo I'm showing. If you want to see more of that, I have a paper just published last year where we talk about this construction, knowledge tools to design and a redesign for more integrated crop livestock systems. Producers also mention about advising. So we usually have an advisor or a manager just thinking crops or livestock in a separate way. So we need more system think means uh, a drone vision, means looking from the high, the whole system, not just crops or livestock separate. And outside the gate, we also identify it challenge this all was inside the gate but outside beyond farm and ranch gates 
we identified some lack of marketing in some places for selling diversified production, a lack of market for buying seeds uh, in some places, of course, and some banks, companies, com cooperatives not aligned with integrated systems. So market access is also a key. So overall, take home message, finishing my 10 minutes here. Uh, I would say integration, it's a robust pathway towards sustainable intensification, but still it's more complex than on the crops or livestock. So having some keys like enhancing soil health, pasture management, exchanging knowledge, market access, mindset and attitude, and these farmers and ranchers agreements are all keys. So I conclude by saying that integrated crop livestock systems is about having important keys in your hands. And I thank all my co-authors from all these different countries that helped me in analyzing this data. And thank you, Carol, for my first 10 minutes of presentation.